Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Tired of pushy recruiters sending you LinkedIn requests for jobs you have no interest in? Tired of blasting out resumes into the dark? If so, you should check out Hired.com. Hired.com flips job searching on its head by having top employers like Facebook come to you after you fill out one simple application. You also get your own job coach to help you on your next job search. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you at least fill out the application. Just go to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer. And when you get hired with Hired, you'll get double the normal sign-on bonus bonus for using that link. And I got a, a question that says, I think I'm very bad at programming. Uh, this is from uh, Vilmus, and he says, I'm currently on Udemy's Java course, and in this course we get challenges to utilize information we learned. At the beginning it wasn't hard. When I look at how in the instructor completes the task, it looks really not that hard, and I can fully understand the code he wrote but I can't imagine myself writing code like that. Do you have any ideas, books or websites or advice from your life to practice thinking or how do you call that? Uh, please help uh, and as always, sorry for bad English. Well, your English wasn't, wasn't that bad. I wouldn't worry about that. But that's actually kind of a good example, I think, that, that we, could, we could use here, okay? So let's suppose that you wanted to improve your writing, improve your English. How would you go about doing that, right? You might say, again, you might look at a sentence that I've written or you might understand me speaking English and you might say, oh yeah, it makes sense when you, when you say that, but when I try to construct a sentence or I try to speak in English, I use the wrong verb tense or uh, it doesn't sound right, I, I say some awkward phrase or something like that and it doesn't, it doesn't come out right. But when I see it, uh, that's obviously good writing or, or good, good speaking and I, I can understand that that's good English, but I, I can't do good English, you know, what, what, what is going on here? So if you wanted to improve that, what would you do? Okay, and it's a very similar situation. I, I, what I would recommend that you do is that you copy a bunch of good English, right? Maybe you read word for word. You get familiar with the phraseology and how to construct grammatically the English phrases, right? So that it, it makes, so that it comes natural to you. So let's say that if you want to improve your English writing, what I would recommend that you do is you take some contemporary writing in English, maybe a really good blog that someone has written or a book, and that you write it all out. Write an entire book out. Now, pick a book that's like contemporary spoken English, how you want to speak or write English, but if you write that out and you write out several books, what's going to happen? Well, in fact, we already already know what's going to happen because there was there's someone who did this. It was Benjamin Franklin. So, Benjamin Franklin actually, he wanted to become a really good writer, okay? And so what he did was, I can't remember the name of the paper, but there was this, this paper that published articles that were very well written and he felt like he wasn't a very strong writer. So he devised a whole series of exercises to basically take apart that writing to co and he copied that writing and he would, you know, he would basically take a lot of the points from that writing and jumble them up and then try to reassemble them together and, and write them. And that's what, that's what he did. He went through that practice, right? There's a, there's a lot of people that do copywriting, which is, you know, basically anytime you see marketing or advertising or you read my sales letter for one of my products, so hey, we could plug that right there. So you could check out some of my products, how to market yourself as a software developer. Why don't you look at that one? If you look at the sales page on there, that's copywriting, okay? Now, one of one of the guys that that wrote that his name is Josh Earl he's an excellent copywriter he works here at Simple Programmer he's he's part of part of the team my my business partner here he learned copywriting and one of the ways that he learned that was that he copied he he went through this program called Copy Hour I mean he did other things as well but he went through a program called Copy Hour where they basically copy really good copywriting and they become good at it so why am I telling you all this because simply it's, it's the same thing, okay? You look at someone's code and you say, oh yeah, now it makes sense. I could have solved it that way. That example, you know, it, it makes sense to me, but I could have never come up with that on my own, okay? 
But if you, if you do that enough times and you copy what they did, so actually write out their solution. So don't just look at their solution and say, ah, yeah, that makes sense. Instead, write it out. Look for good code that is solving that problem and actually re re-implement it yourself, right? So you've seen the answer that the teacher made. Now don't leave it at that. Copy the answer, okay? Now do it from scratch. So copy the answer once looking at it so that you can understand it and make sure you understand all the elements in there, okay? And then wipe the board clean, okay? And, and write from scratch the answer using what you know now. Now, you know, and test yourself. Keep on doing that. It's, it's like what Benjamin Franklin did with when he improved his writing skills, okay? Same thing, like I said, if you want to improve your English writing skills, you would do something similar. You could take an essay and you could rewrite that essay, right? And you could rewrite it as best as possible from memory. And then you could look at it and compare it and say, oh, look, that's weird where I use this awkward phrase. The other thing that you can do that I think will help you as well same thing that would help with writing or, or learning English is, let, let's say that, again, you wanted to improve your English writing. Well, write a, a nice long blog post or essay and then have a native English speaker who look at it and explain to you what, what is wrong. Oh, this is why you shouldn't say it this way. You use the wrong verb tense and explain to you exactly what's wrong. And then the opposite, which you could do, is you could take someone who had written really good English, who had written an essay, and, and all the parts where you don't understand like why they made these choices, you could ask them what was the logic behind that. Again, you could do the same exact thing with programming language, right? So take your instructor's code and say, ah, okay, what made you think to decide this? What made you think to use this data structure right away, right, and, and to write your code this way and go through that process? So there's multiple avenues of attack here, and I know that this works 100% because I actually started to become a really much better programmer when I started doing top coder and the whole thing with top coder is that you solve a problem okay and you try to solve a problem and then you have this period this phase where you see how other people solve the problem and you try to challenge their code for, try to find bugs in it and I kept looking at people's code and I was like man I could never figure out how to write a solution like that but after seeing it so many times and then trying to implement it myself eventually I got to the point where I, I could see the patterns and I instantly just like grammatically when you're good at a, a language, when you're fluent at a language, you know how to construct the sentence. It just flows from you automatically. You don't have to spend much time thinking about it. The same thing started to happen with me with writing code. As soon as I saw the problem, I knew what kind of solution to create. So that's what you got to do. Don't worry. Don't get discouraged. Just keep on going, but make sure that you're doing some kind of deliberate practice. Again, an another resource that I'll, I'll give you here is a book I've been recommending lately. It's called Peak. I, I must really like this book because I recommend it a lot. But that's where I got the Benjamin Franklin story, by the way, and, and he talks so much about improving on something, about using deliberate practice and how to construct that kind of practice. And that's what you need to do in this case if you want to improve and to be able to, to write, write code like that. All right, if you like this video, click that subscribe button below if you haven't already, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.